Recently, there is a growing interest in designing AI applications using large language models or LLMs. One popular example of such applications is AI assistants or chatbots. The main components of such applications are LLMs. To develop such applications, several frameworks such as LangChain and OpenAI Assistant API exist. Recently, a new open source framework called Taskin AI was launched that offers unique features as compared to existing frameworks. Using Tasking AI, you can develop LLM-powered applications easily. Tasking AI provides a scalable framework to develop LLM applications with an unlimited number of project members. It is API-centric and allows local deployment. Such features allows you to build various AI applications easily and quickly. In particular, it provides a user-friendly user interface by which you can build an AI assistant with a few clicks. To build an AI assistant or chatbot using Tasking AI, you first need to select a LLM. Tasking AI supports various popular open source or commercial LLMs such as ChatGPT, Gemini, Llama, and others. It has a built-in memory system by which the LLM can access to the chat history to provide better responses. It also supports various vector stores to implement RAG systems. Using this feature, you can connect an arbitrary data source like a PDF file to your LLM. It also supports several tools by which you can provide extra sources of information for your LLM or take arbitrary actions. The user can interface with the assistant through an API, which is provided by Tasking AI. For this purpose, Tasking AI offers stateful APIs. It also offers a SDK in Python. In fact, a separate set of APIs exists to interface with different components of an AI assistant. You can find more about the supported APIs in the Tasking AI documentation. To interface with Tasking AI through Python, you can simply install its package using pip. Creating a project with this package is actually very simple. Here's a sample code to talk with the chat model. You first import the required Tasking AI modules. You then provide the model ID to specify your chosen LLM. For example, you can specify ChatGPT as a model here. You then define a chat completion task and pass your model ID and an input message to it. By running this task, you can get the output response of the model. Tasking AI has a friendly user interface by which you can build an AI assistant easily with just a few clicks. You can also add custom tools and data sources to your assistant easily. It also offers a playground by which you can test your assistant easily. Let's now create a simple assistant. The first step is to choose a language model for our assistant. Tasking AI supports various open source and commercial models, such as the OpenAI's models. For this example, let's choose ChatGPT as our language model. We need to choose a name for our model. We also need to input our OpenAI API key. Please use your own API key here as the key shown here will not work for you. This way our model is created. You can also edit the model or delete it. We now go to the next step and create our assistant using our created language model. To do so, we simply click the new assistant button. We then choose a name and an optional description for our assistant. We now choose our created language model so that our assistant can use it. You can also define a system prompt to instruct the assistant on how to answer users' queries. In fact, the system prompt defines the role of our assistant. You can also add a memory to the assistant so that it can access the chat history as a context. Moreover, you can connect an external data source to the assistant. Finally, you can use custom tools to enhance the assistant's abilities. After creating the assistant, you can manage it by either editing it or removing it. Let's now test our assistant in the playground. We first select our created assistant. We then create a new chat and ask a question in the chat box. For example, let's ask what is quantum computing from our assistant and see its response. To generate the response, press the Generate button. As you can see, we managed to create a powerful chatbot with just a few clicks. We even didn't write one line of a code. This feature of Tasking AI is very amazing. As another example, let's add a custom tool to our assistant to make it even more powerful. Such tools allows us to integrate third-party services with our assistant. To add a tool, we need to define an action schema which should be in JSON format. 
Here we use a sample schema to define an action for querying academic information on the archive platform. You can find this schema in the description of our video. In fact, this schema provides an API to the archive website to pass our query to this website and get some information from it. The retrieved information is then used by our assistant to provide more specific responses about our query. Let's now confirm it and add this tool to our assistant. We are now ready to test our assistant with the added capability. We again go to the playground and ask a question from our assistant. This time we ask our assistant to give us some relevant papers about quantum computing. Once we push the generate button, our assistant runs the define tool to collect the required information. It then analyzes the retrieved information and generate a relevant response. As you can see, our assistant was able to list some relevant papers about quantum computing. You can use many other tools for different applications. For example, you can get the price of stocks or the temperature in a city using a related tool. This way you can build very powerful assistants for your application. Finally, you can implement a RAG system by connecting an external data source or collection. For this purpose, you need a text embedding model to convert your data into an embedding representation so that the language model can process it. Similarly, you can choose a text embedding model by choosing a name and defining an API key. If you use an open AI model, you can use an open AI embedding model as well. You also need to define the capacity of the collection. In our subsequent videos, we will show you how to use this feature for various applications. To use Tasking AI, you can install it locally on your own machine. They provide a GitHub repo through which you can access to its code. To access the user interface of Tasking AI, you can run its Docker, which is provided in this repository. A new version of Tasking AI will be launched over clouds soon. Using the new version, you can access this dashboard online. You can now join the waitlist to get access to this new version. This was a short introductory video about Tasking AI. Hope you liked it.